this is known as scratch scratch is a very easy platform to learn programming here you can program games as well okay so today we'll be making a very simple game that i'll be explaining you just after a few minutes but before that i'm going to give you a quick walk around through this screen so towards the extreme left there are multiple blocks these are known as the coding blocks all these blocks they have a particular meaning so we'll be learning to use few of them in this class and then towards the center is your workspace where you can drag out these blocks and make a code you have to make a block chain this way you can make your own code and then towards the right at the top where you can see this cat this is a display this display is used when you want to code some visual stuff like it's not necessary that your program would always include some visual interface but if you want to code some visual things then that reflects over here okay guys okay so i'll explain you what game are we making we will be making the game whose name is catch the bug what's the name michael can you repeat it catch the bug yes catch the bug in this game you have an insect that is a bug and an animal which eats that particular bug what we have to do is we have to help the animal to reach the bug so that it eats it okay so the first thing that we have to do is we have to delete this cat because cats don't eat bugs how to delete it there at the bottom you see this delete option delete basket you click it and your cat will be deleted now what we have to do is we have to click on this icon that is choose a sprite when we click it we can see a lot of images just like this see here we have a lot of images so from here we can find a bug so my favorite is this beetle i can click this beetle and here it comes the beetle comes on my screen similarly i need and i need an animal that will eat this bug so i'll go to choose a sprite again and i think butterflies eat bug so i'll choose this butterfly too so this way the butterfly is also there on the screen and now don't you think so that bug is a lot bigger it should be smaller to reduce its size you click on the beetle and over here there is this size option you can reduce it to 50 in order to make it smaller we can't make a game with plain background so to add a background we go to this option which says choose a backdrop click here and i'm going to choose a background which looks similar to a forest okay yeah there is there it is so when i click it appears like this now everything looks good we have a beetle we have a butterfly and they both are in a forest and now we can make a story around it so the first thing that we have to do is we have to program our butterfly to move using the arrow keys in our laptop in order to do that what we have to do is we have to go to this event tab over here and then i have to drag out the second block which says when space key pressed and instead of space i'll choose when up arrow key pressed to move my butterfly up i'll have to first of all use this block and change it to up arrow key then go to the motion tab and from the motion tab i have to set its direction so here i'm going to use this point in direction block point in direction i'll click this 90 and i'll point the butterfly in the up direction and then i'll drag out move 10 steps that simple it is now when i press the up arrow key you'll notice that my butterfly is moving up but is it moving in a like in an expected manner does the butterfly go up like this no the butterfly doesn't get up like this well in order to rectify this issue you have to get this block which says set rotation style this block you place it over here and now if you notice now my butterfly is moving up in a better way okay so we can add one more feature which is you have to go to the looks tab over here go to the looks tab 
and there you will find an option of next costume and when you put this option of next costume you'll notice that my butterfly flaps and now it's looking even more realistic isn't it now it's looking even more better so similarly what i can do is i can copy paste this code and make it go down as well but this time i have to point it in the down direction now when i press the down arrow key my butterfly goes down as well now up arrow keys moves it up down arrow key makes it go down now similarly i can duplicate it and make it go towards right by pointing in towards the right direction and make it go left by making it point towards the left direction now my butterfly is okay oh, wait a second i'll have to choose the left arrow key okay now my butterfly is moving as per my instructions come on what you have to do is you have to make your animal to move as you press the arrow key if you make it if you press right then it should go right if you press left arrow key it should go left if if you press up arrow key it should go up and if you press the down arrow key it should go down in all the directions now i have to code it for beetle to code it for beetle i have to click this beetle first of all and when you click the beetle all the code vanishes it actually doesn't vanish but it is the screen where you have to code for your beetle if you click on the butterfly the code will come again but here you have to code it for beetle so the screen is blank so let us see how we can code it for beetle so the beetle is coded in such a way that the point when butterfly touches the beetle beetle vanishes and it reappears onto some other new position so let's see how it happens you have to go to events tab drag out when green flag clicked and then you have to go to the control tab and in the control tab you have to take out a block forever and just after forever you have to take out a block which says if you have to place it in this kind of a combination then you can simply go to sensing and drag out the first block if touching butterfly change the option to butterfly if it touches the butterfly then click on the motion tab and drag out go to random position block like this and now let's try to play our game when i click on this green flag over here and start to play my game see when my butterfly touches the beetle the beetle vanishes and it appears into a new place so this is how my butterfly is eating a particular beetle and a new beetle appears every time when my butterfly eats one beetle <laughs>